we have something today that is just uh, it just blows my mind that we we've gone three seasons. Well, not three seasons. This is the two seasons. This yeah. is the third. Yeah, so two full seasons and a few episodes without doing a sour. Forty or fifty beers that we've never done a sour until now. Uh, forty or fifty beers that you know about. Well, yeah, that we've done on camera. This is from Ecliptic Brewing. How do you say that? Tucana? Uh, no, I, I say it, uh, Portland, Oregon. No, oh. that is silly. Tucana? Tucana? I don't know. I think it's Tucana. I think the, in Portland it's probably Tucana. A bright twist of tangerine plays nicely with the balanced tartness and dry finish of this crisp, refreshing, sunset hued. Sour ale. I'm not sure what all that means. I don't know. But that's what it sour. says on the can. I don't like sour. I like like sour gummy worms and stuff. I'm kind of okay with those. Yeah, I don't get a right. My kids used to feed them to me. He doesn't time. like IPA. I don't like sour stuff. This is my challenge. Cool. I think I think we're up for it, dude. I, Look at that. It's got just, a beautiful you color. Know what I, did? I just think you're happy about the fact that I'm being challenged. I'm just happy that we have beer and we're together. Love this guy. We're friends. But man. he's still <laughs> me. So do I swizzle like this? Sure. It smells spicy. It smells estery to me. I don't know how long it's been in the can. So it's only a couple months old. But, or maybe that's when you're supposed to drink it, but I'm not sure. Best by? By 10.07. And it's only like 7 o'clock at night, so we're okay. 10.07. We've got three hours. Yeah, we're good. We'll get there by then. Uh, you can't really tell, but there's some digits and dates and whatnot. If you look at the bottom of the can, basically, you'll know what date it is best consumed by. And if you go past that, you can't fault the brewer. You gotta fault yourself. Or whoever put it on the shelf for that friggin' long. I mean, you don't wanna eat bread that's two months old. Let's keep it fresh, brother. Yeah, maybe that's sour I'm picking out. I don't know. They tell you I had one when I was over in Scotland. I tried to sour it. It was terrible. I couldn't even finish it. Well, good luck to you. Good luck to us both. Here we go. Here we go. Hmm. Well, it feels really refreshing up front. Very citrusy. And then it's tart. Kind of makes you pucker a little bit. Indeed it does. Look, look at my face. I look yes, like a pucker. I look at my cheeks. Ugh. Yeah, it's kind of like a, a gummy worm sour. It's not bad. It's very refreshing. Could you imagine having this after you've been outside mowing the lawn and you're sweating and it's hot and it's 100 degrees outside and you crack one of these? It is kind of like a lemonade, maybe a yeah. grape, grapefruit juice. With a little bit of carbonation, kind of medium carbonation, I would say. It's not really heavy. It's not like... Yeah. This is not like some of the lambics that I've had. I'm not really a fan of cranberry lambic. Yeah, people in the UK and stuff drinking sours and they like that. They had something that said sour and I, well, I'm here, I'm going to try it, you know. I had haggis while I was there. Why not? Haggis. And, uh... What is haggis? Haggis is like... It's like ghost liver, isn't it? No. They take... They I take, heard it's from Satan. They Arr. take all the intestines, like the liver and the heart and the kidneys and all that stuff. They chop it all up and they mix oatmeal and spices and stuff in. Traditionally, it was cooked in the sheep's stomach and then they serve it up. When I had it, it was haggis. It was fried into little balls. A sheep stomach? Yeah, I think a sheep stomach. What? what? The first person to pick up an egg. Yeah. You know? I don't know what's in this, but I'm going to eat it. Came out of that 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 bird. I'm eating it. I'm eating it. <laughs> yeah. Not bad for our first sour. We picked a good one. Tucana tangerine sour. I think this is one that we actually picked up over at Rudy's. Oh, might be a Rudy's beer. In that case, thanks, Rudy's. Uh, Cook's Paradise over in Twin Falls. In it. Great selection of beers over there. If you live locally, go over and check it out. Man, they got, oh my God, they must have. Three or four hundred different craft beers in in that that little shop. It, it's amazing. right. Go to the cooler first. You're going to get better results out of a cooler than you will on the shelf. The pucker factor is running rather high. Kind of have to shave your tongue a little after drinking it, but it's not horrible. It's all right. <laughs> hey guys, thank you for uh, having us in your lives, and we're glad to have you in ours. We appreciate it. Yes, indeed. Like yeah. and share. Like and subscribe. subscribe. All that stuff. You know. Check us out. Terms. I'm going to Sturgis this year, and I'm going to be doing some live stuff. I'm going to be, you know, throwing out some shorts. I'm going to have have a lot of fun. Uh, we have some Sturgis videos coming up. First of all, check out Harley One Forever, Cool Whip, one of our friends. Harley One cool Forever, Cool Whip, Cool Whip, and also G Rathbun. We're going to finish this off camera. It's very tart. 
enjoy slow. <laughs> <laughs> it's a slow bird. We love you. There are good ships. And wood ships. And ships that sail the sea. Hey, the best ships. Our friendships. May they always be, brother. Yeah, and just misses completely. Yeah, because yeah, if you miss, I'm taking it on the chin.